Hey friends, today I want to do a little puppeteering for you. Uh, I want to show you something. So let me introduce you to uh, Jim and to Gemma. And uh, Jim is kind of happy. I hope you can see. It doesn't come out as clear on the camera for some reason. Uh, and Gemma is not as happy. She's a bit of a sad face. But what's my point with Jim and Gemma here? Um, it's this, that what we see here is a face. Hello, I'm Jim, how are you? Now, behind this face, behind this expression of a person, there's a whole stream. There's a whole stream behind Jim that goes all the way to the source. The source is flowing and becomes this unique flow that is right for Jim. And because Jim is listening to the flow of the source, through him and allowing it, he's kind of happy. Woo! -hoo. All right. Gemma is also all we see is the person. Oh, it's just a person. Well, actually, the person is all of this stream, and that's coming from the source. And both Jim and Gemma have the same source. Everybody has the same source, but it flows uniquely for each one. This is Gemma's flow, and this is Jim's flow. And Jim is happy because he's allowing the source to flow through him and to express through him. And he's just being himself. Whatever being himself means in, in this unique sense. He's got to be Jim. He's not got to be Gemma. If he's going to try to be Gemma, he's going to be sad like her. Gemma must be trying to be someone she's not. Or in some way, shape, or form, she's just not listening to the flow that's coming through her. So it's like... The source is like this electricity, right? That's flowing through um, appliances in our kitchen, for example, or in our home. It's the same thing with us. This is just the face that is the sort of representation of something so much greater that comes and wants to flow and express as this character here that's speaking to you today, right? And it's the same for every one of us. And when we're allowing that current, to come through, we feel connected, we feel inspired, because this would be spirit, and Jim's allowing it to flow through, and he's happy, right? So the spirit's flowing through, and it appears as Jim, and Jim is happy because he's feeling inspired and excited, and he's enjoying uh, the dream, and he's, is, he's doing him, right? But when we don't allow the electricity to flow through the appliance, through the vehicle, through the person, and we're, we're feeling separate, we're feeling lonely, right? So then we're kind of starting to look around and try to seek for satisfaction when satisfaction is our very nature. And then satisfaction can express itself in the dream. Now, interestingly, when we look at anybody, we just see the face, we see the, 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 the form, right? We don't see the formless. All of this that's behind Jim is all formless. Same source, then it flows uniquely for, for this unique expression, it flows uniquely for this unique expression, etc. Right? So when I say Jim is doing Jim, that's his, that's his unique, that's the way that the source wants to flow through this unique appliance, through this unique vehicle or expression, right? Um, so right now, what, what you're seeing is this expression, right? But when I look back at where I'm looking from, I don't see what you see. I see that face over there on the screen for me, but here I don't see anything. That which is looking is not form. It's formlessness. It's not a thing. It's no thing. And really, it's not just looking through your eyes. You can also point back to what's looking and see that you can't find anything. What's looking is, is not a thing. It's this indescribable innocence. And the truth is, it's not just looking from my eyes and your eyes. It's looking from everywhere. Right now, it's, it's all there is, right? But if we stay in just that, then, then okay, there is this isness, this timelessness. I don't know if you can sense that. There's just that which is or that which is looking. And it's, it's one, you know? It, it, it looks like there's many things, but that's just an appearance. 
but really it, it the observer is the observed it's there there's only that looking it's looking from everywhere there's no time or movement in that but yet that also has another side of becoming not just being becoming and in the becoming we play and what does that mean it means that there's movements there's a stream of inspiration a stream of energy that wants to flow and jim is allowing it to flow he's using the resource this is the source he's turning and allowing the source to come through him because turning around and looking back at who or what he really is and allowing that to come through. He's not intimidated by the dream because he recognizes that it's a dream. He recognizes that it's just an appearance, right? And he's excited to engage in the dream and play in the dream because why not? You can stay in the absolute and just being, just is, and it sort of get fixated there. And it's really hard to get people back out of there to come and play again because the dream is just a dream. It doesn't exist. That's the real meaning at the end of the day of, the, of a dream. That nothing's happening. There's nothing. There's just whatever it is that can't be described. Right? But if you don't let the flow that wants to flow through you come through, you kind of end up like Gemma here. And, and um, you might just say things like, well, this just is. So feelings arise for no one, by no one, etc. But you're actually overlooking the aspect of that there is, you do have control in that regard of turning back, returning to the source, to the resource. And then you don't feel alone. You feel on fire. You feel empowered. You know? It's, there's a well-being in it that is so delicious. And, and then if, if you, and so, the, so, so you can control how you feel by either being connected or disconnected from source. Right? And to be connected is very simple. Just look back and see what's seeing. But also do something that you enjoy do something that you love listen listen to the flow don't act because somebody tells you you should be that way or you should do that thing do it from listening to yourself you're the authority each one is is their own authority each one knows what their flow is if they just listen right in fact Pretty much most of what I do with people in my sessions is just take them back to themselves. And, 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 and then the path from there becomes clearer and clearer and clearer until they really reclaim their breath, their sovereignty, their power, their love, their joy, the, the doubt and the fear start to subside, right? It's so delicious to be able to be awake dreaming be dreaming awake to know this is a dream and yet to engage in it yeah okay from me and jim and Gemma, i wish you lots of love <laughs>